Welcome to Wander, Explore, Discover. Today we're going to explore Mitchell in Outback Queensland. Mitchell is a quaint town on the banks of the Maranoa River, 587 kilometres west of Brisbane. It is the gateway to Outback Queensland and was named in honour of Sir Thomas Mitchell who explored this area in 1846. Mitchell has wide tree-lined streets with cafes, a bakery, hotels, supermarkets, an art gallery and other specialty stores. If you want more places to wander, explore and discover, subscribe to our channel for new videos every week. We start the day by relaxing in the Great Artesian Spa, then explore the Baringa Museum and the Musical Cattle Grid. We then wander around town and visit the old Kenneth Courthouse before heading out to see the Kenneth Sculpture at Arrest Creek. The Great Artesian Spa Complex is open seven days a week and includes the visitor centre, a cafe and two large pools. One pool has naturally heated water from the Great Artesian Basin to relax tired muscles, ease tension and revitalise both mind and body. The other pool is much cooler and is quite refreshing. The Baringa Heritage Museum is open from 9am till 12 noon during the tourist season and it has lovely displays that showcase and preserve the history of the old Baringa Shire. banks of the Maranoa River is a quirky fence maze that leads to the musical stock grid where you can play the outdoor musical instruments. We wander along Cambridge Street, the main street running through town and admire the interesting colonial buildings on the wide tree-lined street. The old Kenneth Courthouse is on Cambridge Street near the lovely windmill and this is where the infamous bushrangers Patrick and James Kenneth were committed to stand trial for the murder of a policeman and station manager in 1902. Arrest Creek is 7 kilometres south of Mitchell on St George Road. Here you will see the Kenneth statue that depicts the story of the trial and capture of the Kenneth brothers. This minimalist sculpture by Peter Bulk recreates the moment that one of Australia's last bush rangers met his fate after three months on the run. 
The red bucket head lying on the ground represents Patrick Kenneth and two policemen stand guard behind him alongside an Indigenous tracker. We hope you enjoyed today's video. You can find more information and places to explore at wanderexplorediscover.com.